Koh Lipi, Thailand, June 2011. Vienna veterinarian Clarissa Udvardi and her friends arrive here for the third time in two years, promoting their Koh Lipi vet care project. The remote island off the southwest Thai coast can only be reached by boat. It is inhabited by about 600 people, many of whom chow lay sea gypsies and about 200 stray dogs and as many cats. The inhabitants, making their living from tourism and fishing, like to share their environment with the stray animals, of course. Their increasing numbers are increasingly complicating this coexistence. Arriving after a rather long trip, the Austrian team brings 200 kilograms of medical supplies to the island, not without having set free previously acquired birds, a local lucky charm. Much work awaits Jasmine Moser, assistant, Clarissa Udvardi, veterinarian, and Christoph Leichfried, veterinarian and surgeon of the University of Veterinary Medicine in Vienna. On site, the vets begin their preparation of their work by taking stock of the dogs. How many are there? In what condition are they? Have they been castrated the previous year? They also immediately conduct the anti-parasitic treatments. The following day, the Thai colleagues arrive. Not only do they bring additional materials and supplies, but also a good deal of motivation. They are accompanied by professional dog catchers, whose abilities and experience are vital for the work to be done. They get to work immediately and search for dogs with their mopeds. These animals will be patients in half an hour, not yet knowing of any of their prospects. Dr. Arun Chumkang examines the sedated animals. This dog is cooled with sits water to stabilize its circulation. By means of a blowpipe, these professionals deliver a sedating dart onto the animals. They never miss. Three such teams, accompanied by a vet, conduct their work simultaneously in different areas of the island. Transports are coordinated by telephone, and quickly the dog is picked up. The animal clinic under the palm tree is really busy. Dr. Mantru Sangsku, head of the province's livestock department office, Clarissa Udvardi and Christoph Leichfried are taking about their plans. Clarissa is getting her next patient. The choice is wide. Many animals want to be treated. Dr. Wittaya Kachram emphasizes the sedated dogs to prepare them for the operation. On eight operating tables, Work is conducted simultaneously. Herein, materials donated by general sponsors such as antiparasitics, vaccines, and sutural materials. Not all animals have to take a hit by the blowpipe. They also find themselves on one of the eight operating tables. Operated animals are marked by having the year of surgery tattooed into their ear. According to the Thai calendar, this year is 2554. The first post-operative treatments are conducted. In the meanwhile, word of the vet's presence has spread. Numerous locals bring in their own pets to have them examined or vaccinated. Some can barely wait for their friends to wake up and watch over their sleep. Whoever is wearing a red band has overcome the worst part and is fed sufficiently. Not entirely sure-footed, the animals are taken back to their locations. This ensures that there are no rivalries and fights over territory and animals are within their accustomed surroundings. After a couple days, there must be time to prepare a freshly caught dinner. While elsewhere may be motivated by the dinner perspective, work is continued in the light of headlamps. The next day, smaller complications are resourcefully treated, and now and then a small brain patient is confident with some food. Sutures are checked, wounds are bombed, nearly all operation wounds seem to be healing well when examined. <laughs> After three days of intensive work, the Thai colleagues leave Koh Lipe. Cooperating was not only rewarding, but has also led to the emerging of new friendships.
The Austrian team treats themselves to a trip. A typical long tailboat takes them to the neighboring island of Korbang, an uninhabited island within the national park. However, the island is not inhabited after all. A half-starved yet curious reception committee awaits the visitors. About two months old, the puppies seem to have been without food for about two weeks. Luckily, there is fresh water on the island. Due to their experiences on location, Clarissa and Yasmin don't go anywhere without pet food. Even the captain shares his lunch with these poor animals. The animals have obviously been abandoned. Due to the lack of administration on the island, this seems to be the last resort for the locals without having to kill the animals. The passage is quite a diva. The cooler is quickly turned into a dog transport box. Curiously, the puppies eyeball the new environment, and a moped trip in a box is something you don't do every day. Since the entry to Austria is impossible for animals of that age, another solution had to be found quickly, and it was found. Embodied by the head of the quarantine office in the province's capital, in this nice man's garden, the four look forward to new adventures. Much has been done thanks to one person's initiative and the enthusiasm of many more, be they sponsors or colleagues. Much remains to be done. Help us do it.